Well, good morning and sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on a Tuesday, 24th day of June. I want to wish my mother a very happy birthday today. She's turning, I believe, 92 or 93. See, she was born in 1922 and this is four. She must be turning 92 today. And I certainly do want to wish my mother a very happy birthday and hope that she has many more here on the face of this earth. We plan to spend some time with her today after driving to Mexico, Missouri, and uh, we just trust that we'll be able to add to the happiness of mom's birthday. But what I want to talk about today for just a few minutes is something that I've had trouble with down across the years of my life. I guess if an honest confession is good for the soul, well, I want to be in good shape, so I'll just oftentimes make an honest confession, and I have to say that there have been times that I have been rather harsh, times that I have been rather condemning, Times that I've been judgmental when it comes to other people. And I think a lot of us have a problem with that. We see something in someone's life that we don't particularly think is right. Something that we don't approve of as if it is our job to approve or disapprove of someone else. I mean, after all, didn't Jesus say, Who art thou that thou judgest another man's servant? And that pretty well condemns us if we should find ourselves trying to judge another. But the Bible says that we are to judge not. And I think a lot of times we kind of find ourselves thinking, well, that person is sure a hypocrite because they simply aren't measuring up to my standard. They're not doing what I think they ought to do. They're not being what I think a Christian ought to be. And you know, before we become too judgmental and harsh in dealing with People that don't measure up, I think that we need to consider two or three things. First thing is that that person may be just spiritually immature. Spiritual immaturity causes a person sometimes to do things that, that they wouldn't otherwise do. I mean, those of us that have served the Lord since youth and been in church for many, many years, and we kind of have it all figured out now, there are some Christians that haven't got it all figured out yet, and I believe that a lot of times that we see something in someone's life that we just don't approve of, and it's simply attributed to their spiritual immaturity. And as they begin to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, maybe they'll shape up a little bit. We can at least pray that they'll mature spiritually as God wants us to grow and to mature. Then I think a lot of times we see something that we think is not right, and it's because of a person's weakness in their life. Now, I think in the spiritual realm, as it is in the physical realm, there are strong, stalwart people, Christians that are strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And I see other people that are able to accomplish great physical feats, that I cannot accomplish because I am not as strong as what they are. And in the church today, we have some that are classified perhaps as spiritual weaklings. And uh, for whatever reason, whatever has shaped their character, whatever it is that influences their thinking, they just simply have not reached a level of spiritual strength to where they can always resist and do what in their heart they know is right to do. Now the Bible says that if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual are supposed to restore such a one in a spirit of meekness, and consider in thyself, lest thou be tempted too. So before you judge too harshly another, you might want to consider that he's experiencing a time of weakness and, and perhaps having a battle that uh, is being lost. So they need our prayers and our support rather than our condemnation. Then I do think that there are some that perhaps uh, we classify as a hypocrite, we judge them harshly, we condemn them simply because they uh, do not have the instruction as some of the rest of us have. You know, I think that God's word is precept upon precept and you cannot expect a first grader to know everything that a senior in high school should know. You should not expect a, a high school senior to know everything that a college graduate would know. You see, it's a learning process sometimes. And 
while the Holy Spirit is faithful to shed light on our pathway and to give us instruction in the way that we ought to go, yet there may be some Christian that has never really received the light on a particular issue that you have received. They simply have not been convinced as you have been convinced of a particular truth that would keep them from doing something that you might not do. Well, I could go on and on and on about why we judge people, but I say judge not, lest ye be judged. And God knows all about the intent of the heart of man, and God understands all about us, and he knoweth our frame and remembereth that we are dust, and I don't think that any of us have a right to classify anyone as a hypocrite. Let's leave the judgment up to God. Heavenly Father, help us to be gentle. Help us to be loving and compassionate as we deal with other people and their uh, faults or failures that we see or perceive in our eyes. Go with us throughout this day, Lord. Keep your hand upon us. Make us a blessing wherever we go. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow now, Lord willing, on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.